everybody and uh, I'm Narendra Kumar and today we are going to do a very beautiful poem by the great uh, social activist, the African-American activist, writer, Maya Angelou. Now Maya Angelou writes this poem, Still I Rise, Still I Rise. Uh, it is a poem uh, of defiance, of self-esteem, uh, of how a person should be and she writes it with such confidence, with such simplicity. Um, I'm sure any person who feels weak or who is depressed or who, who, who has gone down in life and there's so many struggles in life. And she talks about those struggles also. So there are two reactions to uh, life's uh, difficulties that uh, people have. One reaction is you go down. And the other reaction is this kind of reaction where Maya Angelou says, Still I rise. Very, very inspirational poem and I'm sure you will love this poem. I'm sure you'll be inspired by this poem. It's a poem which will be there for, for with you for a lifetime. Very bold, very brave. Defiance, strong, self-confident. Maya Angelou. <clears throat> Still I rise. So I will not come between you and Maya Angelou. I like you to just feel the poem. I'll be like a guide. Still I rise. You may write me down in history. You know, no matter how I achieve, you may write me down with your bitter, twisted lies. You know, I achieved so much in my life and you made it all a lie. You may trod me, you know, stamp on me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I will rise. What a beautiful poem, what a beautiful spirit. Does my sassiness upset you? Sassiness, you know, the feeling of being very confident and, you know, Expressive and all that, sassy. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. So that's that's such a funny, confident uh, expression. You know, now oil wells pumping in my living room. And is that why, why you are jealous? And is that why you are so sad looking at my confidence? Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides. Just like hopes springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken? You know, many people want you to see, want you to be broken. They're so jealous, they're so envious, uh, they're so full of hate because you are so confident and happy. She defies them. Did you want to see me broken? Bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, shoulders falling like teardrops. Look at the lovely words here. Shoulders falling down like teardrops, so weak, like just slumping up. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes? Shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? You wanted to see me broken like that? Does my haughtiness offend you? Hot, you know, arrogant and confident. You know, haughty is used in a positive word here. Does my haughtiness? You know, very confident and defiant and brave and courage. Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it often hard? Because I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You, know? you may shoot me with your words. Uh, she's using the word shoot because kill. Sometimes words can kill. They can be so cutting. They can be so cruel. You know, filled with malice and hatred. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You know, some eyes look at you. Look at you. They want to kill you with your, their eyes. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I rise. I will rise. Like air, I'll be so light. Does my sexiness upset you? You know, so uh, many men don't like women to be very overtly, very openly sexual, to be confident. Um, to prize their sexuality. Another example would be Marlene Monroe. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the um, meeting of my thighs? <laughs> no, she's so playful here. Uh, does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the Hearts of history's shame, I rise. 
huts of history is shame, the burden of history, all the wars and the, the, the hatred, the evil, you know. Out of the huts of history is shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. Pain all around the world, but I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. This is powerful poetry. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into, into what? Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear. What a lovely word that's wondrously clear. So clear, so calm, such clarity, wondrously clear. I rise. Bringing the gifts, bringing the gifts, I've got gifts for you. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave and the dream and the hope of the slave. You know, all the people who are called on, afraid, and the hope. I rise, I rise, I rise. So that is a magnificent poem of self-confidence, self-esteem, you know, rectitude, defiance. I'll read out the whole thing again without any explanation. And I think you'll enjoy that. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may prod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I will rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides. Just like hopes springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Because I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still like air, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear I rise into a daybreak that's wondrously clear. I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. So that, Mary Angelo, we, we obviously expect something so beautiful from Mary Angelo. And she was a extraordinarily strong, beautiful, Sexy woman, brave woman, courageous woman, woman as woman should be. You know, in a world where men have become um, so stupid, there were women like Mary Angelo, Monticelli, Marie Monticelli, um, Madame Curie, Joan of Arc. So that is a spirit of a self-confident, high self-esteem, profound self-esteem of a woman who, who defies anything which brings her down. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the poem of Mary Angelo. I hope you read it again and again and again in every crossroad of your life and find great inspiration. Thank you so much. I'm Narendra Kumar from NRK Academy.